Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your high five duo dab of the day with Cali Stripes Diamonds. Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, join the Senior Stoner family, send a like our way, and I always respond to comments. We all want to take control of our thoughts, don't we? Let's discuss how we can do it. Well, I think first we got to stop and take a breath. That's right. You got to pause and take control of the out of control thinking you've got. And you got to do it by saying stop. Take several deep breaths to collect yourself before moving on, which allows you to address thoughts clearly and with a level head. Because by focusing your mind on breathing, you give yourself some distance from the thoughts and make them easier to manage. Studies show that it takes 90 seconds for neurochemical triggers to fade from your brain and return to normal brain chemistry. So try counting 90, 89, all the way down to zero to calm yourself. We might want to remain in the moment, constantly ruminating on the past, which you have no power to change or projecting into the future, which you can't possibly predict is a surefire way to lose control of your thoughts. Rather, focus on the here and the now, the very tangible situation we're in and that you might be able to control. And your thoughts will follow, won't they? Maybe try a technique that's called grounding yourself. You see, many spiritual practices even recommend staying in the moment to promote inner peace and calm. So, maybe ask the question, what can I do right now to change how I feel? You want to observe your thoughts without judgment. You want to stick to objective, concrete facts. If you're in a fight, don't cast blame or guess why the other party's angry. Consider what events led to the fight. What can be done to end it and what specifically made you upset? Instead of saying, I'm really bad with whatever, it's my fault that I haven't been able to do it, made me think I haven't done whatever because I haven't really found the thing I was interested in. You see, you want to take action to address your thoughts. Sitting with your ideas without action leads to an endless cycle of thoughts. Maybe make a plan to address your thoughts and worries, as uncertainty is often the root of rogue thoughts. And if you can't stop thinking about it, for example, Maybe you find a way to separate yourself from whatever it was you were thinking about. Because we have to remember, oftentimes we cannot control our thoughts because we're scared to act on them. And once you make a plan, you need to follow through with a plan. And if your thoughts seem distorted or you constantly feel out of control, you know what? It's time to ask for help. My therapist came to the house today. I needed help. Try putting yourself in as comfortable an environment as possible. You see, the outside world profoundly intersects and affects the inner world. So if we're in an environment where we feel comfortable, or un rather uncomfortable, out of control, well, our thoughts are going to mirror those feelings. Put the music on, light a candle with your favorite scent, and go to your favorite spot. Maybe temporarily divert your thoughts with another activity. If you can, go for a run, watch a movie, call somebody on the phone, to take your mind off thoughts at hand. Do something that you can do immediately and does not allow you to sit around longer with your rogue thoughts. Now, what has to happen is you have to remember that these are short-term solutions and we still need to work on ways to contain thoughts when we can't escape them. It's always good to talk to someone if you can to get thoughts out in the open. Having a fresh perspective on thoughts can help clear them away in minutes. If you're uncomfortable sharing, start by saying, I have something to get off my chest or I've got something on my mind all day. Would you mind listening for a moment to whoever you're gonna talk to? You see, it's all about staying in control once you've taken control of your thoughts. It's critical for us. We do not want to try to choose our thoughts. 
but control them as they come. We want to try to make our thoughts, our mental health, a priority. Remember, we take care of our brain by sleeping, okay? We've got to be able to do other things to help ourselves too. And you want to identify, know intimately the events that trigger the difficult thoughts. While people should not avoid all their problems, we need to be aware of the things that move our thoughts in a negative direction and prepare ourselves for when they arise. Maybe structure our day so that we end the day on a positive trigger, whatever that would be for you. You see, maybe we wanna take a few moments every day and just take stock of our lives. Be aware of our thoughts during the trigger moments. And again, foregoing judgment or self-critique of ourselves. Meditation always helps to control your thoughts. So does reframing thoughts in a positive or non-intrusive light. Reframing them simply puts them in context of the world around us, allowing us to better understand them. So, we need to find a way to develop empathy, self-empathy. And this will help us avoid taking things too personally. We have to remember the serenity prayer finally, and that's of course, if it's something you can't control, don't worry about it. Don't obsess about things that you ultimately cannot control. Other people, the weather, the news, even health to a certain extent. Focus instead on yourself. When you think about things outside of your control, remind yourself that the only person you can control is you and work on that. It doesn't mean we shouldn't try to impact the world around us, but you're always going to have the biggest impact on your own thoughts. This is about handling, taking control, understanding, and putting your thoughts in check. It's critical. Let's take our dab with our wonderful high five duo, our old friend, back with us, preloaded with Cali Stripes Diamonds, Strawberry Banana. Doing the blue color today with the high five duo on the table with Senior Stoner. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Tasty. Tasty. Thanks for joining me, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Senior Stoner family. Send a like, and I reply to those comments. Have a great day, everybody, and cheers.